Japanese feudalism. The emperor was the equivalent of the king of Japanese society. They descended from a family in 660 BCE. In the Nara and Heian periods he was the supreme ruler and his word was law. After the Heian period he started to become less powerful and eventually became just a puppet to the shoguns. In modern times, he is almost powerless and is just a figurehead. Originally, in the Heian period, the shogun was the term given to the leaders of the army. Although in the later years the shoguns started to seize land and control it with their own personal army. So in the later years the shoguns controlled clans and they warred for control of shogunate Japan. Although the emperor retained control by word. The real power lied with the shoguns though. Daimyos were nobles who owned large amounts of land, they would hire samurai to protect their lands. They also gave small plots of land to the samurai that protected that land. During the Kamakura period, after the shoguns became the real power, the shogo were appointed as the governor of land that the shoguns controlled. They made sure that taxes were paid to the shoguns while taking a small piece of the money. They also made sure the laws were followed and peace maintained. Their power superseded the daimyo threatening their power. 90% of the people in Japan were peasants. They were important to Japanese society as they made the food for everyone else, this followed confusion beliefs. They worked on either their daimyo's or shogun's land. They paid taxes in the form of grain. Their quality of life depended on how fair the taxes were. Sometimes they could be so badly off they worked for other peasants. Below the peasants were artisans and craftsmen, they were below peasants as the only things they made were not essential to life. They made pottery, jewelry, silk stuff. Sometimes they made swords for samurai. Merchants were even below artisans because they made money out of nothing. They bought and sold things between the various districts. Once trade was opened with China they became very rich. Their social status changed after the 19th century industrialization of Japan. Hainan were known as the outcasts of Japan. Hainan translates directly to non-people. They would take the worst jobs like execution, butchery, tanners, and undertakers. These jobs were considered unclean in Shinto and Buddhist belief systems. Ronin were samurai who no longer had masters and so were part of the Hainan. Either they would beg for a living, turn to crime, or learn new skills and become an artisan or merchant. That was Japanese feudalism. Make sure to have a nice day, and don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. The next topic could be suggested by you.